pocket. Before there was Gangnam Style, and Bear Falls Out of Tree, there was this. Yes, the exploding eight-ton Oregon whale. The original viral video, before there was video. Back in 1970, this sperm whale, 45 feet long, beached itself on the Oregon coast, in a town called Florence. It was dead and starting to stink up the place. So, the Oregon Department of Transportation was assigned the job of getting rid of it. But how? After consulting with the Navy, the team, led by seasoned engineer George Thornton, decided to blow up the carcass. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is, we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this. Half a ton of dynamite was used, or about 20 cases. Far too much, according to the military vet who happened to be nearby that day. As reporters and spectators watched from a dune a short distance away, the explosion went horribly wrong. Launching projectiles of flying blubber and whale goo. So dramatic was the explosion that it's believed to have inspired the killing of Bruce the Shark in 1975's immortal film Jaws. Look at the similarities. Thornton, who died this week at the age of 84, spoke little about the operation over the years and once reportedly commented that every time he did, it, quote, blew up in my face. He always maintained the operation was a success. The original report by a local TV station was unearthed in the 90s. It's now been seen more than four million times on YouTube, making the exploding whale perhaps the first viral video sensation of the internet age. Bye.